Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Pikmin 2 Part 10. In the last part, we went to the perplexing pool, found the yellow Pikmin, and went to the Citadel of Spiders and defeated the cave there. And now we're going to back we're going back to the Awakening Wood um, to basically hopefully finish the area off. Um, there's a slight chance that might happen, but I'm not sure. I did a few Well, let me rephrase that. I didn't do a few. I did a lot of practice runs, let me just say. Um, yeah, quote unquote, practice runs. Uh, more like failed recordings because I had so many interruptions and issues. Uh, you know, sometimes my microphone just decided not to work or... I don't know, just interruptions, phone calls, stuff like that. So let me just say, I'm not really in the best of mood right now. Second thing I want to say that's important. Um, I did get a new mic. Oh, well, it's not brand new, but still. Um, hopefully, I don't know if there's going to be much of a difference in my voice with it. Um, I don't really know if it mattered a whole lot. My old microphone, well, my second one, I went, this is my third one. Um, I didn't necessarily need a new one, but hopefully this will stop the issue of not being able to hear stuff, stuff randomly sometimes while I'm recording, because that's nice to hear things, because sometimes Pikmin like to get eaten randomly or something, you know, so, um, I'm gonna try and, you know, alright, yeah. let's kill you first, alright, so now that the cloaking burn it's dead, let's, uh, go to this little cutscene of blue pikmin so yeah um the main goal for today is to get the blue pikmin here grow enough numbers to do some things and stuff but besides that i also need to hit at least one cave if not two and the rest of the above ground treasures so yeah look there wild blue pikmin are chasing prey near the water's edge perhaps by observing these wild specimens we can understand more about their true nature Zert, ding, I apologize. I was momentarily entranced by them, now back to work. Alright, so yeah, Blue Pikmin. Um, they are... Well, I know they, they... They swim in water, but apparently I've got to have this little cutscene interruption. Uh, healing cask, $1.29. I'm sure that is a lot higher priced nowadays in the US. And it's Carmex for cold sores. Alright. Whatever, um... Can't get anything set in without so much- Okay, now, so 40% of the debt recovery. Ow, didn't want to do that. Um, yeah, so, that's an electric gate. That's a new thing in Pikmin 2. And since, uh, there's, uh, electric Pikmin now, which is yellow Pikmin, um, they now decide to add electric gates, which actually wasn't a bad idea. But, um, you obviously need Yellow Pikmin to destroy them. As you saw, Captain Omar took a bit of damage there, and definitely don't want to have the... Well, that was a waste. So apparently I just wasted my bitter spray. That is something that's untested. And let me just say that that was unfair, so now I don't have a bitter spray. That is a bad thing, because I really needed that bitter spray. So I guess we'll have to wait to see what they do. Wasn't there another spray? Maybe... I swear there's another spray. Well, that was another new enemy there. That was a... A thingamabob. Oh, there it is. I was gonna say, if I can get that, that would be stupid, but... That was a gold iridescent beetle thing. I don't know. Some gold flint beetle. Another new enemy. They can't kill your Pikmin. They're just like the green ones, you know. Except they give spicy sprays, so... Yeah, um, so much to talk about, so many things are happening, I don't really care about you guys. See, so yeah, I wasted my bitter spray, um, basically, I'll explain it right now, I didn't, it, I just can't believe I wasted it by accident. Um, what it does is it just kind of freezes enemies for like about 5 to 7 seconds, maybe 8, I don't know, somewhere around there. And it get, it they have it gives them some enemies like a higher defense so it's harder to kill them but it basically freezes them but then they can they after like five to eight seconds they unfreeze so yeah well it's not ice but it's just kind of like a coating or something you'll see when I eventually use it I'm I'm pretty positive I will because most of the time I do in games in this game so 
for now, we're gonna put these white white Pikmin. They are white Pikmin now. Um, yellow Pikmin aside to get the blue Pikmin here, and we need to start growing them. Oh wow, look at the blue rays. That's cool. Uh, at least at la at least at last you have encountered encountered them. They seem to have gill-like ducks on their cheeks. They must be blue Pikmin, like the other types. They look to you for direction. While they are indeed surviving naturally, they still seem to long for a valiant leader. So yeah, blue Pikmin. Um, there's only two things they can do in the game. Is survive in water and... Uh, what's the other thing? Uh, well, if there's a Pikmin drowning, they I think they did, the, did this in the first game. So since I don't think it's anything new, but... If there's a Pikmin drowning in the water, if you throw a blue Pikmin in, they will go and save them. So basically, it's like a lifeguard ability. So it's actually a really nice thing. If you're working around the water and you have other Pikmin with you. So, you kind of got a bit of a safety net in case some Pikmin accidentally go into the water and there's blue Pikmin in there, they can save them. So yeah, really cool. Um, but other than that, they're the same old blue Pikmin. So, don't get too excited or happy about them. So yeah, you still need them in-game a lot, because of course, water is probably the biggest obstacle in the game, because, besides electricity, because of electric gates, but water is definitely the next, or tied for electricity, I don't know. Poison's not that hard to get around, because white people easily, easily, you know, but, alright, um, I'm not really gonna worry about these enemies here, they're wog poles, um, they're an annoying enemy, they don't, they can't kill your Pikmin. Actually, wait a minute. They can't kill your Pikmin, but they just kind of—they were in the first game too. They're the smaller versions of Wally Wogs and stuff. They're basically, you know, the tadpole version of frogs. So yeah, nothing interesting about them. They can't kill your Pikmin. They just swim around the water and be annoying. And sometimes the Pikmin like to randomly go after them. So yeah, not a good thing. All right, let's get this. We need to get a lot of blue Pikmin, so... I guess I will attack these Wally Wogs. Or Wally Wogs, Wog Poles. Yeah, see, it's really hard for the blue, the blue Pikmin to chase after them. It takes a while for the Wally Wogs to stop. The Wog Poles, they're not Wally Wogs. Why do I keep saying that? Alright. So we do have a treasure going back, if, I, if you didn't catch all that in the middle of all this. Um... It's uh, kind of like a Mario Paint thing. Uh, only the blue Pikmin can get out, carry across the water and onto the land, obviously. And I just had the yellow Pikmin carry back because... Might as well. No need to let the blue Pikmin go to waste here while they we can grow their numbers. Alright. Mario Paint. Blue. Decorative goo. 80 Pokos. Alright. Let's kill you. Yeah, so if they go, if wog poles go on land, um, they do start to flop around weird, so I guess that's cool. I don't know. Um, it makes them easier to kill. But in the water, yeah, you can see they're very hard to kill. Um, just kind of gotta go at it, I guess. There we go. We got a lot of Pikmin now going after it. It's gonna die. There it is. Dead. Awesome. Um... I don't really think there's anything else we can use to grow our Pikmin numbers here, so I'm just gonna have to work with the now 31 blue Pikmin that we have. And we need to get going after this. I need to flower these guys up. We're already halfway through the day. That's not good. Um... I guess we'll just get going now. I meant to have Louie carry those guys back, but I wanted to make sure I got everything done with the blue Pikmin, I guess. No honey whisk there. So now that we have all three types of Pikmin with us, um, so we can, now we can do a, uh, everything, so. Did I say all three types? I meant all the types, I think. I don't know what I said. Anyways, um, another new thing uh, in Pikmin 2 are these kind of rocks in water. 
Um, if you have the blue pick when destroy them, it will open up a hole in the ground for, um, for the water to drain, and that'll make dry land, so especially if there's a wall nearby or anything in the water originally. Now other Pikmin can go help break the wall down. So like right here, we're gonna have those guys to do that, and we're going to get some nectar for these guys. Because it'd be very useful. So yeah, um, if I get nectar, thank you. A lot of stuff to do today. I don't really have any, I don't really want to talk about anything right now because I'm going to get off task and I'll just get distracted. Um, I was hoping to get more nectar than that, but apparently not. I'm going to have to deal with that. That's really annoying, but whatever. Um, let's get... Alright, good, they're almost done. No, quit attacking that. I don't want you attacking the innocent bug there. Alright. Go, 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 attack the wall. I need to get these yellow Pikmin working on a wall here. There's another electric gate. What a shock. Um, I know there's some other Pikmin with me. I just want yellow Pikmin. You're gonna die if you hit the electric gate. Alright, let's throw these guys up here. And I don't really want to put a spicy spray on them because... Well, I don't really need a spicy spray on it because they're gonna eventually break the wall down. But anyways, um... It's kind of at that awkward point in the... In the day where I don't know if I should go after the last cave and treasure, above ground treasure or not, because I don't know if I'll have enough time. This is kind of that weird, at that weird point where I just don't know. So yeah, that's a die. Uh, we're getting that treasure back. I have to wait for the white Pikmin because I need them. So I don't know. Um... Do I just wait? Do I just wait for the cave to be opened, or do I just wait and wait till tomorrow to go to this last cave? I mean, honestly, chance to them. Okay, hundred pokos. Honestly, um, getting getting to this cave and this last above ground treasure and stuff, it does not take too long. It takes at least um, a third of the day to a fourth, and as you can see, we're starting to run low on time. I'm not going to make it because. There's a bit of a puzzle to get the last above ground treasure. It's really annoying. And I would like to... Um, just... I'll save it for tomorrow, I guess. I don't I don't like to be in a big rush at this game, but... It's really annoying at this point in the game when there's so much... To do in such a little time. But... Especially when there's... To be honest, a lot of these caves and stuff are easy, in my opinion. And I just want to get them out of the way because... A lot of the more difficult caves are for later on. So I just find that we might as well just get them done and over with, you know? I'd like to move on to the la to the harder caves, but... For now, I guess we'll just have to waste another day. I guess the only good thing about going coming back here tomorrow is that we'd be able to grow some more blue Pikmin. That's like the only good thing I get out of this situation, but... I don't know, though, because we do need them, but we don't... We could easily grow them underground if we needed to, especially in, this, in the other cave that I wanted to hit, but anyways, um, so yeah, uh, cave up here. We don't need blue Pikmin for this cave, actually, and it's a funny thing because you can either, if you take them though, there is water hazard, but the gate, but the cave doesn't say it. So there's electric, electricity, poison, and fire. So, I don't know, do I want to take, how many, 35, let's put 5 back, I don't want a whole lot, because I want to bring, oh, we're going to get more white Pikmin, I think, and a lot of purple Pikmin in this cave, so, but I do want a good amount of purple Pikmin to start off, so, I think this is a fair trade. We have a good amount of red Pikmin I can just use to grow more white and, red, or white and purple Pikmin. Um, yeah, so that's a good, good amount. We don't really need a bunch of white Pikmin anyways. Anyways, um, 
it's cave time. So let's go up there and officially discover it, but I do know there's a cave up here. Even though it means half our Pikmin aren't even with us right now, or even the other captain. But still, there's a cave. Nonetheless. Okay, um... So, you have at last reached the higher ground. Congratulations, Arnor. Well, thank you. Uh, wait, what is this? My seismic sensors are picking up tremors deep below. What forces that work in the depths of, of the planet? I don't know. I guess we'll find out, um, next time on Let's Play Pikmin 2. So I'll see you guys in the next part when we enter, um, the next cave. So I'll see you guys then.